Hey guys, um, welcome back to my channel. If you've watched my first video, thank you. As you can see from the last video, I have changed my setup a little bit just because of the certain things I want to show, but I'm also trying to work out what is best in this space. So I realized in the last video, I was heavily focused on my film cameras, but I do own a lot more than just that. I have a lot of old tech, analog, composite stuff. So yeah, let's get into it. So we're gonna start off with my very first video camera that started it all really. So I was getting into Super 8 and it was quite expensive. So I wanted to find another video format that would be a bit more cost effective. So one day I came across this VHS-C camera and I started playing around. But then I thought, what else can I do with this camera? What else can I do with this format that could really push it to the next level? Well, Welcome to the first piece of glitch gear I ever purchased. This is a dirty mixer by Lullaby Machines. It's pretty straightforward. It doesn't require a power source, but you get some really cool effects with it. Because it is a dirty mixer, you have two inputs that you can mix channels between. Um, and then it go... Do you mind? I'm busy. It's really fun and a great starting piece. This is the second piece of equipment I've got. It is from Freedom Enterprise. It is the Mismatcher Petite. Uh, it's just a very, very basic model. They have other versions of this that have a lot more options um, and are Euro rack. This one, however, is just composite in and out. It's very simple, but you get some really, really cool effects from this as well. I use this a lot for my glitch art. This is the Canon XL1S. I scored this bad boy for $80 in an eBay auction. No battery, looked like it was found on the side of the road. I took the gamble and bought a battery and she works. The only thing is that the tapes don't. So at the moment, I do have it as a tapeless setup. For the time being, besides a tapeless setup, I have been using this as my live camera that I feed through its CRTVs for my glitch art. I do live feed for portraiture, which is something that I am just recently experimenting with. I do have a couple of samples, although unfortunately, at least at this time being, I can't share any because they are press shots. I'll get to share them eventually because um, they're just so cool and I'm just, I can't wait to show everyone. So this is my biggest CRTV. Um, it is a 14 inch. She's not fancy, but she is just the right size for little me to pick up. It's still really awkward, but I have used this TV a lot, not only for shoots as a prop, doing live feed, but also uh, for my glitch art as well. But this isn't the only TV I own, and I don't know if you've already spotted it, but it is here behind me. This is my little Samsung. I don't really use this for glitch art just because the cathode ray tubes are smaller. So I don't really get the pixelated look that I am aiming for when I'm taking photos. However, it is a really fun portable TV for games. It does also have not only video in, but video out. So I thought this would be really cool for feedback loops. I just haven't had the chance yet to experiment but that stay tuned because that's definitely something that I want to play with. But yeah, she is a cutie. Next up, I have some VHS tapes, precisely Polaroid ones, just because I saw them and I love Polaroid and I just felt that was really fitting. And the branding is really cool on these tapes. I think it would just be really cool to convert digital graphics to VHS to get that VHS noise. Next stop is currently a work in progress. So this is the Sony Video Sketcher Titular XVT33F. It's just a really cool product. So unfortunately this is broken because it was made in the Sony 90s era. So all the caps are just dead. So my friend Jake and I opened this up so that we could check on what was wrong. I'm currently learning how to solder. He's teaching me. Uh, right now we're just waiting for the caps to arrive so that we can repair it. I'm tempted to do maybe a video on it, but we'll see. But yeah, it's just a really, really fun titler because you can also draw. And that was the feature that drew me to it. So once it's fixed, um, I'm really excited to play around with it. 
Now this is the latest piece I've recently acquired. I haven't had the chance to actually test it out properly just yet. This is the Edirol V4. It is a four channel video mixer. I got this for my glitch art just because of all the really cool effects. It is capable of doing some really cool things like uh, negative, where it, so it flips the colors. Uh, colorize so you get some really cool funky colors but the main reason why I got this is because it has chroma and luma key. I thought these would be really cool features to create glitch portraits with but also because I can do internal feedback loops so I can do some extra trippy kind of things. So stay tuned because I really do want to do a video of me doing behind the scenes of making my glitch art and glitch portraits um, and I do really want to test that out in that video. And that's pretty much it, at least for the time being. Um, I'm sure whilst I'm experimenting more with glitch art, I'll probably get a couple more pieces. We'll see. But yeah, um, I hope you enjoy this video. Hopefully soon I can actually do a video actually showing me making my glitch art and doing glitch portraitures. So stay tuned. And yeah, thanks for stopping by. See ya.